10 things I wouldn't want to live without. My daily essentials. Stay tuned. Yes, 10 things I wouldn't want to live without, and they are my daily essentials. Now, this is a tag video that I don't know where it originated from, but Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60 did it in her last video. And she left it open and said anybody that wanted to do the tag, do it. So, you know me. Of course, I would do it because I love tag videos. Now, as far as the 10 things, it goes without saying. Of course, my faith, God, my family, my husband, my children, my grandchildren, my health. The list can go on and on. I, I wouldn't want to do without any of those, even for a moment of the day. But these are just kind of daily things that bring me joy and add to my life. And so that's what I'm going to share. All right, number one is my heating pad. I just could not, would not want to live without my heating pad. It's uh, made by Theraderm and it's moist heat. It's 27 inches long and 14 inches wide which is perfect. That's what I think about during the day, that I can't wait to get in bed at night and get on that heating pad. I use it every night. I use it all night. It has an automatic shut off every two hours. Don't you know, I wake up. When that thing shuts off, I wake up and hit the button because I just have to feel that heat. It's wonderful and it goes from up here, clear down to my tailbone. So I would not want to be without my heating pad if we travel, which we don't, but when we used to, it went with me. I will not go anywhere without my heating pad. Uh, number two would be the sun. I love the sun. I love the feeling of the warmth of it. Of course, I like warm weather, and I love to see it. I love to see the sky just lit up and so bright, and the sky is so blue, and I just love the sun. And now I don't sit out or lay out in it like I did many years ago, but of course when I'm walking during the day, I feel it. I feel it on my skin. I get my 15 minutes of vitamin D every day, and then I just sit out on the patio and just enjoy the brightness of it all. I love the sun. Number three would be my walk, my daily walk. I have to have it. I just can't start my day without it. I go early, early, early in the morning. It's great for me. It starts my day off just right. And it's also my prayer closet. When I'm out there and I'm walking for five miles, it's my time with God. It's my time to pray, to do self-reflection, to talk to God, all that. Plus, it's great exercise, and it just makes me feel good. I, it really makes me start my day with a, a zing in my step. So, my daily walk, I just would not want to live without it. Uh, number four would be my patio. I am on my patio every day. Even if it rains, it's covered. It's not enclosed, but it's covered. So I can still be on my patio. I'm out there. I love sitting out there. I love reading out there. I watch YouTube out there. I, I sweep it. I... I do anything, anything I can just to be out, because I love to be out. And I really enjoy my patio very much. It has a nice, uh, like a chair set on it, very comfortable chairs with a fire pit table in the middle. The atmosphere is beautiful. I can enjoy nature. 
And I would not want to be without being on my patio every day. Another thing, I think it'd be number five, I guess. Oh boy, is coffee. My coffee. Cannot do without my coffee. I do drink decaf, but I drink several cups a day. And I love my coffee. And of course, I have to put my creamer in it, the vanilla creamer, and it must be frothed. Now, Mary Ellen talked about her frother on her uh, 10 things she wouldn't want to live without. I wouldn't want to live without mine either. I keep extras, so if I go somewhere, I can take it with me. So, my coffee and my frothed cream. Uh, next one would be dancing. I love to dance. I always have. And of course music would go along with that because you want to have good music when you're dancing. But I dance every day. I dance out on my patio. I put some music on. I just have my own little dance party. I dance throughout my house. I dance from room to room. If I have to come in the back of the house to bring laundry or get laundry or go to the laundry room, I never just walk there, I dance there. And I really dance, so I would never want to be without my dancing. Uh, the next one would be, let's see what else I wrote down here. Um, oh, connecting with others. You know, that's, that's a wonderful daily practice to have, connecting with others, to talk to other people, uh, to serve other people, to visit neighbors, to have those conversations, just some kind of connection. That's why YouTube is just so wonderful, and I love YouTube, because I'm telling you, I just hear from the nicest, kindest people. I have been so blessed in that way. You, you hear it in the world that there's so many, you know, bad people or not so good people or whatever. I have only met the most wonderful, kind, good-spirited people here on YouTube. And I love connecting with all of you. You all mean so much to me. So that daily connection is something I would not want to live without in my life. And let me see, I think I have two more, yes. Number eight would be my floor products, my floor equipment. Okay, you can stop laughing. <laughs> I love to do floors. I just, I love clean floors and I'm kind of obsessed with it. And I'm never satisfied. I try different pieces of equipment, different sweepers, different cleaners, different, uh, you name them, I've tried them all. And I, I just want to go on and try another one to maybe they'll look even better. And I've always been that way. I don't know why. It's just some weird obsession. But anyhow, what I'm really loving and I would not want to be without each and every day is my O-Cedar mop. Now, let me explain that one. That was recommended to me by Elle from the channel Elle is for Living. Now, Elle did this tag also, and she mentioned that mop because she wouldn't want to be without hers. Well, I don't want to be without mine either. I love it. It spins. You know, you put it in the water, and then it spins it dry, and you can go over your floors. It's so easy and uncomplicated. So, I'll try to insert a picture in here, but I love my O-Cedar moth for my floors. And I think number 10, I believe that's my last one. Yes, at last, but certainly not least. And these were not in any particular order. And that is the scriptures. I would not want to live without the scriptures day to day every day in my daily life. And I'm going to explain why and tie that in with my inside beauty tip. 
So my inside beauty tip involves the scriptures. Now, the reason they are so essential to me for my daily living is I learn so much from the scriptures. Any problem I have can be solved. It, it's in there. It, everything is covered. I can remove fear when I'm feeling fearful. And you know, fear is always going to come after us. I mean, that's just part of life. But God didn't give us a spirit of fear. So when I feel that fear coming on for some reason or another, I can go straight to Scripture and I can come back to a level of peace. And peace means a quiet heart. And that is very important to me. And it feels wonderful. So I can reground myself and stay in peace. You know, God gives us the gift of wisdom, but it's our responsibility to grow in that wisdom, to deepen that wisdom. I can do that through reading the scriptures. I learn so much, so many things that enrich my life, add value to my life, and make me a much better person. So for me, that is essential and very much a part of my everyday life. Well, of course, you know now I'm going to tag some people because I love doing that. And I always say, don't feel obligated. And Linda, Linda Roy from the channel Mature Sass, and Leedy from the channel Leedy MC, neither one of them are crazy about tags. I always tag them just to get on their nerves. But <laughs> I won't say I tagged you girls. I'll leave it up to you. But I want to tag some other people this time. And of course, anybody that wants to do this tag, as Mary Ellen said, feel free to do it. So I'm going to tag uh, my soul sister, Wendy, from the channel My Life Wendy. I'm going to tag Mona from the channel About Face with Mona. I love Mona. Mona and I became very fast friends here on YouTube. I'm going to tag, tag Pam from the channel Pam Over 50. She's adorable, has a great channel. And I'm going to tag um, Sheila from the channel Face and Fashions. She has a great channel also. So, you ladies, oh, one more. Can't forget this one. I'm going to tag my friend Connie Murphy from the channel Connie Murphy, over 70 and still glamorous. And she is a glam queen. So, you ladies have all been tagged. I hope you do the tag. I'd love to hear your answers as to what you wouldn't want to live without every day. I want to thank you for being here, and please subscribe to my channel, and give me a like if you like it, ring that notification bell. I would love to have you as one of my sisters or brothers in Christ. So until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!